the R Vic Maiden Chase is next. This is two and a quarter miles. Again, it's a chase this time, though, and a mixture of newcomers and horses have been in the league since the start of the season. Ancient Grass at the top for Craig Beckwith, Cape Frank for Darren Thompson, Lions Raw, Paul Rhodes, Lucius Bond, the first of newcomers for Stu Gray, Valmina Tate, David Robertson, Weary Willy for Kevin Renahan, that's another new one, Aglone Chimes for Graham Clitterbuck, Asavia Jr. for David Robertson, Chantilly Lace, a new one for Kevin Renahan, and Vinnie Gerrard's got the bottom two, Houston Battle, and Ozark Zetkin called in then, very short run to the first, and they get to the first, and one or two who decided to just walk straight through it rather than jump it. But they all managed to get to the other side of it with the jockey still on their back, and that can't be said of the second because one of Kevin Renahan's newcomers has gone. Chantilly Lace is on the deck, and they get to the third. Oh, and the Vinnie Gerard Gray very nearly went there as well. That was Houston Battle, but they're racing down towards the next with just less than two miles still to race, and the way they've been jumping so far, I wouldn't bank on too many of these getting round. They're all safely over that one, and Weary Willie is in the lead, not living up to his name at the moment. He seems quite keen to bowl along in the lead, doesn't appear all that weary at all. Asavia Jr. is in second, that's the first of the three greys. Then comes Lion's Raw, Ancient Grass on the inner side of that, and the second grey is Cape Frank. A bit of a gap then to another newcomer, Lucius Bond, with the third grey Houston battle for very I have a record on that mistake. With Valmina tail on his outside and then wider still a glowing chimes and the back marker just Ozark Zetkin so they get to the fifth and the leader runs straight through that one got away with it though but surely can't continue to make mistakes like that although jumped that one really nicely the slow jump this time was from Ancient Grass so at this ditch and they all got over that one nicely with Weary Willy in the lead by length the next and over that one they go one or two of them a little bit ponderous but they all got over it okay they come up past the stand then they take the water and hopefully next time they won't take the water they'll go up that chute and head for the winning post but Weary Willy suddenly found himself five lengths clear and Weary Willy it is then from Ancient Grass in second Lucius Bond another newcomer has moved through into third Lions Roar is fourth that's a via junior just dropped back a little bit into fifth on the outside, Aglone Chimes and Cape Frank with Houston Battle and Valmina Tail, and then a gap of three lengths to Ozark Zetkin, who's the current back marker. And Weary Willy will lead them into the final mile, and there will be four lengths clear as he takes the tenth. Over it they all go, they all jump that one nicely with Weary Willy clear of Lions Raw to the 11th and again they all jump that wall as well the order just changing slightly in the pack as they shuffle the position they get over number 12 they're all safely over number 12 with Houston Battle still the back marker but Weary Willy is still the leader with just a little more than five furlongs to go Weary Willy is in front gets over the 13th jump that really well and got away from it one as well Four more fences still to take though, and Weary Willie is in the lead from Cape Frank, Ancient Grass, Aglone Chimes, Lions Raw, then a gap back to Valmina Town. Asavia Juna has lost its place, so too's Lucius Bond. Houston Battles trying to run on, but it's Weary Willie then with four to jump. Four lengths clear of Cape Frank in second. Aglone Chimes is third, then comes Ozark Zetkin and Ancient Grass. Lions Roar is still there as well, probably between these as they race down there towards the final four fences. They've only got two and a half furlongs to take, these fences have got to come up quickly over it they go and it's it's still Weary Willy in the lead from Cape Frank closing over the third last they go Weary Willy in the lead, better jump by Ozark Zetkin who's come right from the back to come through the challenge, they've still got two to take, over the second last they go Weary Willy in the lead from Cape Frank and Ozark Zetkin, Weary Willy, is he getting Weary in the lead over the final fence he goes, he's landed in front now Ozark Zetkin, some to challenge him, oh, Weary Willy's not that Weary, he's poking his head back out again, it's Weary Willy, it's on the nod as they flash past the post and I think I got it wrong last time but I think this time Ozark Zetkin has taken it on the nod, Weary Willy just couldn't last any longer and Ozark Zetkin has taken him on the line Cape Frank back in third let's just 
Make sure it's not a dead heat day, it isn't. It's Ozark Zetkin for Vinnie Gerard out the back for most of the race. Takes it weary, weary for Kevin Mead. Had a good debut for that one. Cape Frank for Aaron Thompson was third. Lions Raw for Paul Rhodes fourth. And Valmina Tail for David Robertson was fifth. 